Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of my series on maths. Today we're going to talk about exponents, but not just any exponents, because we're na tayo na pag-usapan regarding that. If you haven't seen the series on exponents yet, we talked about addition, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication and division of exponents. You can click right here. Uh, today we're going to talk about something different, which is your special cases ng exponents. And that is actually found in the workbook if you have a copy of workbook number one. It's on page 10 of the workbook. So we're going to answer and solve this with me part. I'm going to show you how to do it. And in order for me to show you better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. See you in a bit. We're going to talk about exponents, special exponents. So I'm going to weird exponents that possibly lumbas the exam. I'm teaching you this because I'm going exam that lumabas, And I knew that if you became familiar with this, this would, would have been a really easy uh, question to answer, pero baka maguluhan tayo at maubos ang oras natin or hindi natin siya talaga masagutan. Okay? I'm going to take this uh, one question at a time do sa mga may workbook. Uh, make sure that you focus and if hindi nyo maitindihan in the, at the beginning, make sure that you repeat it hanggang maitindihan ninyo. That's the reason why I make videos. Okay? So, dito tayo. So, all these with me, number 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, raised to 0. Ngayon, yung 0 na yan, what you have to remember is that any number, pag ni-raise mo siya sa 0, pag ang exponent niya is 0, kahit x pa yan, raised to 0, it's always going to be 1. The answer will always be 1. It doesn't matter whether a number is big or small, anything raised to 0 becomes 1. Okay? That's just something that you have to remember. Ngayon, next question, paano kung negative exponent? And this is something that one of the people who took the test last time asked kasi lumabas daw sa test booklet niya. Actually, it appeared din sa test booklet ko. Here's something that you have to remember then, and I want you to pay close attention. Para sa team like ka yan. Okay? Bakit? Kasi pag nega, bumabagsak. Titin ko ha, pag nega, babagsak. Yun ang kailangan tandaan. Bakit? Kasi pag negative ang exponent, babagsak yung buong number. Let me show you. Yung negative uh, 1 na yan, yung 210 raised to negative 1, becomes 1 over, babagsak, 210 raised to 1, or 1 over 210. Okay? Again, pag nega, babagsak. So, any number na negative, babagsak siya, magiging fraction siya. For example, kung makakuha tayo ng 1 over and kukuha tayo ng 2 raised to negative 2, that is going to be a fraction then babagsak siya. So, 1 over 2 squared. Okay? That is something to remember. Ngayon, I'm going to ask you to try to solve this uh, next question using all the things that you learned today in this uh, snippet of the lesson. Okay? So, hit pause now. Try to answer that muna. Alright, let's see how you did, okay? This is part of our learning process. Make sure that you follow along. Try to answer the questions para may uh, sarili kayong practice, okay? Ito, it looks a little complicated, no? Kasi, uh, ang daming nangyayari. And ganitong klaseng tanong usually yung lumaraba sa exam pagdating sa ganitong mga special exponents. But the key here is to know kung ano ang ibig sabihin nila. Yung x raised to 0, okay? Don't be scared. That becomes just 1. So, it's something that you can ignore, Ito namang y raised to negative 2, dahil negative 2 siya, okay, babagsak siya. So, ang mangyayari, this becomes, ano, dito mapupunta siya sa ilalim, magiging y squared, okay? And then, you have 1 times 1. Yung 1 na to, at yung 1 na nandito sa fraction ng 1 over y squared. So, again, wala nang, nangyay wala nang nangyayari sa taas, okay? Naging 1 na lang siya. Kasi 1 times 1 is still 1, Okay? Ngayon, tapos ka na sa taas. Dito tayo sa baba ngayon. Dito you have x, y, raised to 0. Ngayon, maraming naguguluhan dito. Ano daw ba ang unahin? I-multiply mo muna ba yung x, y sa 0? Is this going to be 1 or is it going to be x? Okay? Ang tandaan lagi, yung PEMDAS natin. We already talked about this. So, if you haven't want, watched that video, go ahead and watch that first. Mauuna ang exponent kasi sa multiplication. Yung x and y, multiplication yan. Ito, exponent. So, ito ang mauuna. y raised to 0. This becomes 1 din. So, ibig sabihin, this becomes x times 1 or just x na lang. Yan ay may iwan din sa ilalim. So, x. So, the answer becomes 1 over x y squared. 
Mukhang komplikado, right? Pero if you know the technique, it's really easy. So that is what I want you to learn today. Okay? Again, kung kailangan ulit-ulitin, practice, go ahead. Next, we have these. Ito yung equations natin. I already talked about this in an earlier video, pero I just want to solidify the concept. Okay? So we have multiplication. Pag multiplication, pag same ang first name, ang tawag ko dito first name, okay? Ito ang last name or apelido. Pag same ang first name, pareho silang 5, you can just copy the first name. So, you have 5. And then, yung last name, pagsasamahin mo siya. You're going to add it. 2 plus 9, which is going to give you 11. So, the answer is 5 is to 11. The concept here is, if for example, may, may pinapakilala ka si Juan Cruz at si Juan Santos, para makatipid ng oras, sabihin natin na, o oh, ito, sila Juan Cruz at Santos. So, yung 1, kinopya pa rin kasi yun yung pareho. And then, i-add mo lang yung apelido. 5 raised to 11. Sa division, kabaliktaran. Okay? It's still going to be 1 or yung first name. So, we have 8. Kaya lang, dahil kabaliktaran siya ng, ng multiplication at nung nag-multiply ka, nag-add ka, ano ang kabaliktaran ng addition? Subtraction. So, this becomes 7 minus 3. So, that is 4. So, 8 raised to 4. Again, may video na dito. I discussed this more at length. You can go and watch those. But we're going to use that to solve itong question na to. Okay? So, in order for you to try this out for yourself, hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? Ang gagawin natin again is just to multiply muna itong mga magkakasama sa taas. You have x cubed times x squared. Dahil pareho sila ng first name, copy lang yung x, dadagdag. 3 plus 2 is 5. x raised to 5. Ito, same thing here. You have x, pareho silang x. Tapos to raised to 2. Pag walang exponent, automatic 1 yan. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, x cubed over x, eh, x to the fifth raised, uh, over x cubed. So, ang gagawin na natin, dahil division na siya, minus natin. Same ang last name, x. And then you have 5 minus 3, which is going to be 2. So the answer here is x squared. Okay? So practice ng practice lang para mas bumilis. Next, paano pag ganito? Paano pag may exponent? Ganito ang trick. Alright? Pag nakakita kayo ng ganito, na may exponent sa loob, may parenthesis, may exponent ulit sa labas. Okay? What you have to understand is when you are using an exponent, di ba? For example, x squared. Anong ginagawa natin dyan? Kung ilan beses to inuulit natin yung x. So, that is x times x. Kung x cubed siya, magdadagdag ka pa ng isang x. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang 4 cubed raised to 5 is parang nagsulat ka ng, apat, ng limang 4 cube. Okay? Ibig sabihin, limang beses mo uulitin. Yan. So, kung, kung imumultiply natin siya, di ba lagi natin siya sabi, kung ano yung first name, yun pa rin ang matitira. So, 4 pa rin. Tapos, pagsasama-samahin mo yung mga apelido nila. So, you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Ayan, is there a faster way to do that? If you look here, dito sa tanong, pwede mo nalang gawing 3 times 5. Pag exponent, imumultiply. So, 3 times 5. Ngayon, itong nasa ilalim. Bakit ko ito emphasize? Kasi marami nagkakamali dito. Ang kailangan gawin here is to remember your PEMDAS. Okay? Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Dito muna tayo sa parenthesis. Dahil lang nasa loob ng parenthesis is 5 times 2. This is going to be 10. And then yun yung e to cube natin. So that is going to be 10 times 10 times 10. Okay? So that is 10 times 10, which is going to give you another 0. Times 10, that is going to be 1,000. Okay? So ito, try natin dito sa ating... Uh, Sample question, okay? So, hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Kung nakakuha na tayo tama. Sa taas, you have 3 raised to 2. Tapos, i-raise mo pa siya sa 3. So, ang gagawin natin is 3, tapos 2 times 3, which is 6. Dito sa ilalim, you have 3 times 2, which is actually 6. And then, you have squared. Okay? So, 6 squared. Ngayon, um, do I need to multiply 3, 6 times, tapos i-divide ko siya sa, sa 36? In case na ang options are entire numbers, I'm going to show you another uh, trick that I do. This is uh, related dun sa factoring natin. No? So, ang 3 times 6, 
over, and then you have 6 times 6, basically, right? And yung 6 times 6 can be 6 times 6, or 6 times 6, or 3 times 2, times 3 times 2. Now, if you notice here, meron kang 6 down na 3. May pwede ba akong i-cancel? May 3 din ba sa ilalim? Kasi ang running concept niyan would be this. Kung 3, 3, 3, for example, over 3, 3, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times, uh, or divided by 3 times 3, pwede ko i-cancel basta may katapat siya sa ilalim. Right? So that is what we're going to do here. Meron kang isa, dalawa, dalawang 3 sa ilalim. So ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung dalawa na yun, ibababas natin dito sa 6, that is going to be 3 raised to 4, over, ang yung natitira na lang ay 2 and 2, which is 4. So medyo mas madali na kunin yung sagot. So, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, 27 times 3, 7, 14, 21, 2, and then you have 6, 8, 81, 81 over 4. Mas madali na i-manage kesa dun sa 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, at least nakakabawas tayo ng ilang seconds when we're solving. Okay? Number 7. Now, this is the weirdest exponent yet. And most people don't really know what to do with this. So, kaya pag nakakita sila ng ganito, skip na lang or next number na lang, hulaan na lang. No? But I'm going to give you uh, a clue dito sa ginagawa na time to show you kung anong gagawin ninyo. Kung ang exponent natin is a fraction. So, 4 raised to 1 half. Or, ganito minsan lang pagkakatype. Okay? So, 4 raised to 1 half. Anong gagawin natin dyan? Pag fraction ang exponent, it's actually a root. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang 4 raised to 1 half is actually square root of 4. Bakit? Kasi 1 half. Square root. Pag kunyari naman, 8 raised to 1 third, that is, following the pattern, cube root of 8. So, ibig sabihin ang 4 raised to 1 half is the square root of 4, which is 2. Okay? Okay? So, if you solve natin to using that information, I'm going to ask you to hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Sa taas, you have um, 1 half ng exponent ng 400. So, that is going to be square root of 400 over, and then you have here, 125 tapos ang kanya exponent ay 1 third. So, that is the cube root of 1 25. And now that we know that, we can start solving. So, ang 40, okay, ginagawa natin ito sa exponents. So, if you haven't seen the exponents lesson, make sure that you watch that para maitindihan nyo itong ginagawa ko. So, 400, okay, kung isi-split natin siya, pwede siyang 20 times 20. Okay? At dahil dalawa na yan, yun na naman ang kailangan pag sa, sa exponent, no? So, dalawang 20, pwede mo na siya i-cancel. That is going to be 20 na lang. 20 ang nasa taas. Sa ilalim, you have 125. And dahil cube root siya, kailangan tigta-tatlo ang makakancel mo. So, 125 divided by 5, you can start with that. 5, you have uh, 25. Itong 25, pwede siyang 5 and 5. So, ibig sabihin nun, meron kong tatlong 5. 1, 2, 3. Pwede mo na siyang ilabas dun sa payong. So, that is going to be over 5. The answer becomes 4. It's really that simple. Kaya lang, problema sa atin minsan, pag nakakita tayo ng ganitong itsurang tanong sa exam, kung hindi tayo familiar dun sa fractions, titinan natin yung options. Tapos, ano ba dito sa mga options na ito ang pinakamukhang komplikado? Maghanap tayo ng decimal, maghanap tayo ng may x, maghanap tayo ng complicated na answer. Pero sa, sa, sa totoo lang, ang sagot pala 4, or 1, or 0. Kasi nung nag-exam ako, ganun ang nangyari. Okay? So that is why I'm teaching all of these to you. Kaya make sure that you understand this in time for the exam. Kung kailangan pa naunin po ulit ulit, do that. Hit pause when I tell you to do so and answer the activities para mas masolidify yung, uh, yung concept sa inyo. I also post questions sa Facebook page. So make sure that you follow that. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your, with your friends. Lalo na kami yung mga friends kayo na magtitake din ng exam. And if you have a copy of the workbook, make sure that you answer all the exercises below para masolidify yung learning ninyo. If you don't have a copy of the workbook yet and you want one, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika to find out how you, how you can get a copy of your own. Also, we're going to use this same workbook for the live review events. So if you want to know when those are, are going to happen and where, you can go to the Facebook page as well. Thank you guys and make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Hit the thumbs up, 
hit the bell icon para malaman niyo as, as soon as a new video posts. We're going to talk about equalities next. So, in order for you to catch that, make sure that you're subscribed para as soon as okay na siya, mapapanood na siya right away. So, thank you guys. H happy learning. Adyo-adyo kahin yan. God bless exam. See you in my next video.